New tonight, researchers at UC San Diego say they have developed a vaccine proven to work against acne. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has details, including when the public may be able to access it. The vaccine targets acne inflammation. Researchers here at UCSD say it's groundbreaking because there's no specific treatment of this type available to date. <laughs> If you're a teenager or remember those adolescent years, more likely than not, you've had acne. An estimated 70 to 80 percent of people develop acne at some point in their life, something researchers have long tried to address. The whole research community, they got really interested. They want to see why some people get acne and some people don't get acne. Dr. George Liu is a professor and chief of the Division of Pediatric Infectious Diseases at UC San Diego School of Medicine. After more than a decade of research, he and his team have developed a vaccine that offers a glimmer of hope in the fight against acne. Dr. Liu explained it started with breaking down a bacteria we all have on our skin known as C. acne. We found only certain type of so-called C. acne cause our skin disease. Other almost never do. Dr. Liu says the reason for that is because within that bacteria is an enzyme which has two strains. Those bacteria that cause acne only make this one that cause inflammation. And those that do not cause acne, they tend to make those enzymes that are anti-inflammatory. The newly developed vaccine blocks the one that does, hence reducing inflammation. It's been successfully tested on mice, but has yet to be used on humans. Dr. Liu expects the vaccine could be available to the public within the next five to ten years. Still, he says it won't cure acne altogether, but it is a crucial step in addressing both the physical and mental toll acne can have. This type of vaccine is going to help probably reduce the severity of these acne. But in order to totally take acne away, it's going to take more than just targeting the bacteria. It probably requires targeting the bacteria, the genetic component, and together, over time, we'll make a better and better vaccine. I don't see it as a cosmetic product, as something that really helps mental health. And I think it's quite important that all the different biotech companies are getting mobilized to start addressing this in concert. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.